your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about the reason what is up ladies and gentlemen of youtube my name is Magardo and uh, today guys I'm going to be reviewing this recording software that I got I think I got it on the 18th I'm pretty sure I got it on the 18th now it's called the XSplit Gamecaster I'm actually going to be doing a review over it now what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm actually going to be showing you guys the interface and then at the end of this video I'm just going to be telling you guys you know like the pros of it and the cons of it um, be telling you guys uh, do I like it do I hate it and then I'm going to be giving my final review or my final score on the XSplit Gamecaster so uh, yeah let's get into actually showing you guys the interface alright guys so pretty much when you actually start up the uh, the software itself it'll pop up this little screen right here it has uh, the get started in three easy uh, steps it has switch to any game or open console viewer you know press CTR L or control plus tab to show XSplit Gamecaster overlay start live streaming or recording Live stream or record console gameplay. A supported capture card was detected. You know, it'll have this down here if you have a, like an Ogato or a Roxio or something like that hooked up to your computer. It'll actually pop this up down here. And over here, it has the tutorials and the frequently asked questions. Uh, it only takes two minutes to learn how to use XSplit Gamecaster. Watch the tutorials below or view our frequently asked questions. Get started in two minutes. Watch more features. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what the start screen is. It's just pretty much just giving you a basic, you know, feel of the software itself. You know, it's just trying to show you how to use it when you are actually in game. So now we can actually switch over to the accounts tab. Now, if you look at the accounts tab, it actually shows you know live streaming, video sharing, and social networks. Now, if we actually click this. It'll actually pop up a little menu. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I ain't going to do that. It'll pop up a little menu, and it'll say, you know, what's your username and password, and you can actually authorize the software itself to actually, you know, live stream or upload the videos to, like, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. You know, you can actually live stream to other things other than Twitch. You can live stream to Hitbox, YouTube Live, Ustream, Daily Motion, Akonico, and uh, just, you know, if you have another website that you would like to live stream to, you can actually, yeah, you can live stream to that as well through the custom option. And if you was to just, if you was to just click this little drop down box here, it just only has YouTube. So, you know, yeah, so that's pretty much all the, uh, the accounts page is, or not the page, but the, uh, the accounts tab is. Now, if you go over to the settings, it's pretty much just what a basic settings page is, the video capture devices and the extras. Now, if we was to actually click on uh, this little box here, you could actually change the resolution, the codec. Uh, I'm actually using the AMD VC, but you can change the frame rate, you can change the quality, split files out. Now, what the split files at is, is like, let's say that you want to only record for a certain amount of time. You can actually change it to only record for about 15 minutes if you only wanted to record in 15 minutes. Same with like, you know, just if you wanted to record to a certain megabyte, you could actually do that too. Um, same goes for the stream settings, except it has a few different settings. You know, the resolution codec, frame rate, stream delay, and it has like saved to hard disk, you know. So if you was like to, yeah, if you wanted to stream settings, that's, you know, where you would change your settings at. Um, now the allow game switching, that's pretty much like if you wanted to switch games while recording, you could actually do that. Now the device is pretty simple, pretty basic. You know, microphone, if you have a certain microphone hooked up to your computer, you can actually click this. And you can actually click on the microphone or the camera that you are using. And you can actually record, you know, the camera and the microphone. Now we got the extras. Uh, the BRB graphics and the status label. Now what the BRB graphics is, is like the be right back. Um, it's like a little picture that pops up, like let's say that you are streaming and you have to step away for a moment, you can actually, you know, use this little, uh, this little feature here, and while you're away, it'll pop up like a little picture, and it'll say, be right back in a minute, you know, whatever, you can actually change the picture around if you actually wanted to, but I'm not really going to get into that. Uh, the status label, 
we got the game FPS and the CPU load. If you was wanting to, uh, if you was wanting to see like the uh, the frames per second, you know the game's FPS or the CPU usage up in a corner of the screen, you could actually change it around, and you'll be able to actually review how much frames and uh, how much usage of the CPU or how much CPU is being used up in a corner of the screen. Uh, that's pretty much just all the settings pages. Uh, now the hotkeys. This is you know pretty simple. It's just the buttons that you will be pressing, you know, to start streaming, start recording, uh, pause the recording, uh, you know, to mute the microphone, system audio, you know, so on. That's just all the hotkeys page, or the hotkeys tab is. Uh, the recordings tab pretty much just shows you everything that you have recorded. I've only recorded four uh, gameplay videos, so, you know, yeah, so that's pretty much all. That's pretty much just the whole interface of the Xbox Gamecaster. Now I'm actually going to get into like my rating. You know, do I like this software? Do I hate it? And you know, would I recommend you guys getting this? And uh, the pros and the cons. You know, whatever else. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys. So what I want to say about the Xbox Gamecaster, I want to say that this software, this recording software, is absolutely amazing I really do like it I would really recommend you all going out and getting it yourself it is a very good software if you wanted to actually record PC gameplay or even console gameplay if you have like an Elgato you know that you have hooked up to your computer you can also use it to record you know that but um yeah so the pros of it I would have to say the pros of it is it's easy to use, it's got a nice interface, pretty much recording is just a button away, uh, you can also record on the consoles, meaning on the Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, you know, PS4, so on. Uh, you can actually hook it up to, you know, Twitch and you know other live streaming you know uh, networks that you can actually live stream to and you can live stream directly from the software you can video share directly from the software meaning you can upload videos to like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus or YouTube directly from the software you can change you know what resolution you want to record in you can actually like switch games while recording you have the BRB graphics feature which is pretty much you know or you'll be right back in a minute uh, it'll be like a little picture that'll pop up and it'll say be right back in a minute which is going to be really good for some of you guys that like to live stream you also got the status label feature which is you know pretty much I think that every uh, recording software should actually have this in it it shows you know the FPS that you know the game FPS or you know if it's not a gaming software like it's not a gaming a recording gaming software then it should just show you the frames per second that you actually are recording in and it has the CPU load which is the CPU usage you can record microphones and cameras with the software too I think you can even do it while you're like gaming so something similar to like what uh, PewDiePie does you know he'll actually be recording in the camera his microphone and the, the game at the same time you know, all together, you got the hotkeys, which is pretty much what I mentioned before. Recording is a button away. You can mute the microphone with a simple button. You can start streaming with the simple button, you know, so on. And, I mean, all together, the software is just really easy to use. So, the cons of the software, there was only two cons that I really didn't like about the software. The first off... The Xplit Gamecaster does not have an editing, you know, software built into it, and this really doesn't bother me. But it would be something useful for other people that don't really have an editing software. It would be really useful for them because, I mean, I have three editing softwares that I can use. Some people don't have any, so it would be really nice for them to have a editing software built into this. And then the second con that I have is that when I am recording through my AMD VCE you know graphics card or GPU I cannot record in 60 frames per second I don't know why 
I really wish that somebody would fix this, one of the developers, but I absolutely hate this because sometimes I would like to record in 60 frames per second. That is pretty much, you know, my input on the software. Now, if you guys actually want to go and check it out, there will be a link down in the description below, so you guys actually can go check it out. And uh, that is all my time, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Remember to like, share, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I really hope to see you guys in the next one.